Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a cloud print server running on Windows Server 2019 hosted on Google Cloud Platform. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Google Cloud and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with a pre-configured cloud print server. So simply click on launch. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name and then choose the zone or region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. After that, simply choose the machine type according to your requirements and the disk space according to your requirements as well. And then you can leave the network settings as default. At the end, simply accept the agreement and then click on deploy. And then you need to wait for the deployment process to complete. Now once the deployment process is done, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. But before we do that, we need to create the administrator account for Windows Server so that we can use that account to log in into our virtual machine using an RDP connection. Now to create that account, simply click on this arrowhead icon and then click on set Windows password. So this is going to ask you for the username of that administrator account. So type in the username and then click on set and then wait for a few moments and it will show you your password. So once you are shown your password, you are going to simply copy it and store it somewhere safe. Once that is done, simply close down this dialog box, click on this hamburger icon and then click on compute engine. After that, you will be brought to this page from where you can see your newly created virtual machine. Now what you are going to do is that you are going to simply copy the external IP address, hit windows and type in remote desktop connection and then you are going to paste in that IP address in front of this computer field, click on show options and provide the username for the administrator account that you have just created and then click on connect. After that it is going to ask you for the password for that administrator account. So simply paste in the password that you had stored previously and then click on ok and you would be prompted one more time. So click on yes and then wait for the connection to be fully established. Now once the connection has been established you also need to wait for the windows server 2019 to completely load. Now once the Windows Server is completely loaded, you can start using the Cloud Print Server. Now to start using Cloud Print Server, simply open up the Print Management. And the very first thing that you want to do inside this Print Management is to actually add a printer. Now to add a printer, click on Print Server and then the name of your virtual machine and then you are going to simply right click on Printers and then click on Add Printer. Now that is going to open up this network printer installation wizard. So you're going to go with the option that says add a TCP IP or a web service printer by IP address or host name. So basically this is going to let you add a printer by using its IP address or by using the IP address of the network it is connected to. So simply click on next and then you're going to provide the host name or the IP address of your printer. So my printer IP address is 192.168.18.30. And the port number is 3911. Once that is done, simply click on next and then wait for the connection to be established with your printer. Now once the connection has been made with your printer, you would see this screen that says your printer has been installed successfully. So simply finish this off by clicking on the finish button. Now to see your printer, simply click on this tag that says printer. So you can see that this is the printer that we have now connected to our cloud print server. Now, you can also give access to this printer to the groups of users using Active Directory. For that, simply right click on it and then click on deploy with group policy. After that, you would be brought to this dialog box from where you need to click on browse and search for the GPO name or the group name to which you are going to grant access. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this video. Now, if you have any queries regarding this video, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace listing for Google Cloud and the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up cloud print server on Google Cloud. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.